Hello, and welcome to episode 9 of Mindful SMP. With me, your host, Lark to Bird. And today, we, we just need a little bit of stability in our life. And so we're going to be working on a new stable for... I have some skeleton horses that I need to transfer to this area. And it has been also a little bit on the server since I've actually played Minecraft. And so I would kind of like to see... What's going on? I probably won't show that, but I would also like to sell some beacons because I have about 64 I'd like to sell. And our ve beacon, beacon vendor has been... has sold out a long time ago and they have not returned for a little bit. They were kind of on a little break. So I was like, let me go and get some more and we'll see what we can do. So I'm just gonna nonchalantly do some building. And I'm going to work on a new s series of cinematics shots to see how they feel. So I hope you enjoy. And we're just going to do some building. If that's okay with you, at least. So... One thing that I find nice and relaxing is always randomizing in a few variant blocks. So the challenge with copper though is that there's not many other variants of colors like this. So this is a nice greenish, the patina of the copper is a nice green color and it's difficult to find Almost any block comparable besides like prismarine bricks. So I kind of just have to try to use some of the ox slightly farther oxidized blocks or the opposite of that so that it makes it easier and makes it blend in, but it's not like very obtrusive to the eye. Oh, I actually didn't need that. Hmm, I needed, I didn't need this. I needed wax weathered oxidized cut copper. Wax weathered cut copper. Uh, this and this. There we go. Yeah, we are in 121, which means we do have plenty of variants. There's just not many. There's just not enough variants of copper enough for slabs and stairs. I wish we had slabs of the chiseled copper and of the weathered copper itself. I would rather have to pay a little bit more for that than to not have that or then to have less variants i'd rather have more variants but they're expensive variants than not have enough variants at all so one secret that i would like to say is as i randomize this in you can say i left the grass there and that is because you can come back and you can path this and 
it will help add a little bit of depth. But it will also blend in with the rest of the blocks and similar to the copper this will be a good combination with the rest it, it's yes it's a little darker than i than the rest of the blocks the only other thing i could do would be to come in and use some jungle planks but i really don't really don't want to use wood in this build so i will just allow the little bit of variation and when you're 20 30 40 blocks away it won't look that bad so there's a little bit of advice from the burb i've also discovered a lovely bug so we have something on here that when we open uh, trap doors adjacent trap doors will also open and so this also applies to doors so if you have a double door it'll open both doors which is lovely but when i do this it opens them all and it also rotates them so i'll have to report that to the admin to fix later no uh why no honestly i'm quite happy with this there there's still a few little details that will work out especially when connecting it connecting a path up to the rest of the area but that's still to come so yeah but this is about the end of my minecrafting for the day so i hope you've enjoyed this episode and i hope to see you in the next one whenever it may be so peace out and stay amazing <laughs>